In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can create custom settings for both the Shuttle Pro version 2 and the Shuttle Express. The great thing about the Shuttle is that because of the way that it works, you can use one with any program that has keyboard shortcuts. Each button on the Shuttle can be mapped to a specific key press or key combination. For programs like Adobe Premiere with the ability to do custom key mapping, the possibilities are endless. To make a new settings file, you will first need to find the path of the desired program. In this video, I'm going to be using Audacity as an example, but this process is the same no matter which program you're using. Let's jump onto the computer and get started. The first step is to open the shuttle driver. Then click Options, Create New Settings, and then Create Empty Settings. You should then see this window. You'll now need to find the file path for the program you're trying to use. In most cases, you'll find it in the main drive in either the Programs folder or the Programs x86 folder. When you find the .exe file path, press Open. If you already have a settings file for the program you're trying to use, then the new file will be named the same, but with a one after it. Once you're back in the shuttle driver, you can program the buttons by selecting the desired button under user action, or by simply clicking the desired button on your shuttle product. You should see the button light up green within the driver. When selecting computer response, you will see alternative ways to program the shuttle. In this guide, we're going to be using type keystroke. Now we've selected the button we would like to map, I will enter Control S into the keystroke box. This is the default key combination to save your project within Audacity. You can also add a comment in the box below to help you remember what this key combination does. After you make any changes within the shuttle driver, always remember to click Apply afterwards to save the changes you've made. Now let's move on to the shuttle ring. It's got two programmable functions, jog left and jog right. It's ideal for functions such as zoom, volume up and down, scroll, but for this example, we're going to be using it to rewind and go forward in Audacity. The shuttle ring has 15 programmable functions, seven sections left, seven sections right, and one in the neutral position. Shuttle in left one, shuttle in left two, shuttle in left three, all the way up to seven, which is when the ring is turned all the way to the left. We're going to program this ring to rewind and fast forward faster depending on how far we turn the ring. So first of all, we need to set the user action to be shuttle in left two and set the keystroke to be a left arrow. We're gonna set the frequency to five times per second. We're gonna repeat the process with all seven positions, slowly increasing the frequency each time. Once we get to position seven, the frequency should be set to as fast as possible. Now you should be able to scrub through your timeline quickly and efficiently using the shuttle ring. You should set the neutral position to do nothing, as this is the position of the ring when you're not touching the shuttle. Right, onto the jog dial. This is the metal wheel inside of the shuttle ring. For this example, we're going to be programming this wheel to zoom in and out of our Audacity project. So let's open up Audacity. As with many programs, if you hover over the action you would like the shuttle to perform, you can usually find out the keyboard shortcut for it. In this case, the shortcut we need to zoom in is Control and the number one key. And to zoom out is Control and the number three key. Let's head back to the shuttle configuration tool and select the user action jog right. Under the keystroke section, we're going to type control and the number one key, so that when we turn the jog wheel to the right within Audacity, it should zoom in. Then select jog left and type control and the number three key under the keystroke. Don't forget to hit apply to make sure these changes take effect. Now, as you can see, I can zoom in and out with ease using the jog dial. Remember, these are only examples and your preferred application will have its own commands you'll need to program. 
There we go, you should be all up and running, ready to create your own settings for your Shuttle Pro version 2 or your Shuttle Express. If you've got any questions or comments, please visit the Console Design website.